At the time of this video, there are 43 monarchies around the world. The vast majority of these monarchies have suffered disastrous secrets, ranging from the conflict between Prince William and Prince Harry, King Juan Carlos's corruption and affairs with over 1,000 women, or whether it's the Emir of Dubai's alleged abuse on his wife, the Princess of Jordan. Many monarchies today have skeletons in the closet, but one example is perhaps initially surprising. Almost all of these monarchies now hide or outright deny that they are inbred. Because monarchs are public entities, they are expected to divulge many aspects of their professional legacy and private life, which isn't very private at times. Almost as soon as a royal is born, they are granted a biography on the royal family page, which will convey the ancestry. However, after looking around at websites for several monarchies, I found outright lies that they are now informing the public regarding how inbred they are. Without further ado, let's move on to today's video. The first and most obvious example, at least in terms of public knowledge, brings us to where I live, the United Kingdom. At present, King Charles III is the monarch of the United Kingdom, and while his late mother, Queen Elizabeth II, was open to the fact that her husband was a relative, this wasn't the full story. When Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip married in 1947, Buckingham Palace revealed to the British public that the two were third cousins, both descended from Queen Victoria. However, Buckingham Palace failed to declare that Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip were, in fact, second cousins at the same time. As the Queen's great-grandmother was a Danish princess, while Prince Philip's great-grandfather was a Danish prince, the two ancestors were full siblings, making the Queen and Prince Philip's second cousins, while also being third cousins as descendants of Queen Victoria. As a result, King Charles III is inbred enough to be regarded as an inbred person. If you'd like to know just how inbred, please refer to this video. The inbred biography of the British royal family does not end there. In fact, the next inbred culprit comes in the form of Queen Camilla, Charles's wife. Camilla herself is not inbred, but when we look at her ancestry, we realise she's actually a relative to her husband, King Charles. Camilla's grandmother, Sonia, was likely the secret and illegitimate daughter of King Edward VII, as her mother, Alice Keppel, was Edward VII's mistress. Now, Charles is the great-great-grandson of Edward VII, meaning Charles is married to his secret second cousin, Camilla. Unfortunately, but not surprisingly, the British royal family is not the only European monarchy which hides the proverbial inbred truth. Our next culprit is Norway, whose king, Harald V, was known as the most inbred monarch in Europe. However, bizarrely, the royal family are now making a large effort to hide this fact. Until 2024, you could openly go online and search Harald V ancestry, to which that you would find that, unlike most people, Harold only had six great-grandparents. However, the Norwegian royal family's page claims otherwise, stating that Harold has eight great-grandparents, like most people in society. At first glance, this wouldn't look like anything bizarre, but with further staring, you soon see the fact that there are duplicate people here. Frederick of Denmark and Louise of Sweden are listed twice, but rather than being listed once, this gives the initial impression that Harold has the expected eight great-grandparents. This fact undoubtedly means that Harold of Norway is the most inbred king in Europe, but he's certainly not the most inbred king alive today. To find that out, we have to go to another continent. If you want to find out about inbred royal families, then Asia is the best place to look at, especially when you find out just how secretive some of these royal families might be when it comes to their ancestry. Let's first look at the Middle East, as several of its rulers are inbred, or at least partly so. The Emir of Bahrain is the child of first cousins, as is the heir apparent to Qatar and Dubai. The current king of Saudi Arabia is the son of a first cousin once removed marriage. The king of Saudi Arabia then went on to marry his own cousin. Together, their eldest son himself married his own cousin. His tragic death from heart failure at 47 is often attributed 
or at least augmented by his inbreeding. It would be a misnomer to see the Middle East as the only place which contains royal families who obscure how inbred they are. Let's now move further along. The Sultan of Brunei too is the child of first cousins. The King of Thailand, however, and Thailand's monarchy in general, is often regarded to be one of the most inbred in the world. The King is married to his mother's niece, while the current King's parents, Rama the Ninth and Sirikit, were second cousins, as Sirikit's father and Rama's father shared a grandfather, King Rama V. This Rama, Rama V, is the reason why Thailand is regarded as one of the most inbred royal families to date. This is because the king married three of his four sisters and two of his half-sisters. Historians have claimed that this was simply for ceremonial reasons, yet looking at their children, it's safe to say that there was another dynastic reason for this. Unsurprisingly, all of these sisters struggled with childbirth since they were carrying inbred children. The Supreme Queen Consort, Rama's favourite wife and full sister, was pregnant 16 times, yet only five of her pregnancies resulted in success, of which her children survived to adulthood. The other 11 pregnancies ended either in miscarriage or giving birth to sickly children who died before the age of 18. The last royal family to discuss in today's video will be the Japanese royal family. At present, the Japanese royal family is regarded as conservative, yet they have welcomed non-relatives into the fold. For example, the current Empress Masako is a commoner, while her mother-in-law, the former Empress Michiko, was from a wealthy non-royal family. However, the former Emperor Akihito is regarded by some lists as an inbred monarch due to his parents' relationship. Empress Nagako, Akihito's mother, was from a royal line of the Japanese royal family, and as such, was a princess from birth. Due to her prestige and relation to the reigning emperor, her parents offered Nagako as a bride to the crown prince of Japan, and they accepted. Fortunately, despite being relatives, they are very distantly related, meaning all of their seven children grew up healthy and survived to adulthood. Nonetheless, if you're interested in the more inbred side of Japan's royal family, then I suggest you embark on some further research as there's a lot to be said on the subject. And there we have it. Inbred royal families and how some royals are actively hiding how inbred they are. What did you find surprising in today's video? Let me know down below in the comments. As always, I'm the Shy Historian and stay tuned for many more.